matches. For the official introductions, we send it back inside the octagon to Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 12 wins, one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 204 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Makhachkala, Russia, Magomed Akalaj. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a combat samba fighter holding a professional record. 15 wins, four losses, one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 204 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Chisinau, Republic of Moldova, Ewan the Hulk Kutala. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Devin McDonald. Kevin McDonald's got his work cut out for him here. Stay back, guys. Out. We're good here. We're it's good. not listen, guys. You're going to get to fight in just a second. <laughs> that is what you're being paid to do. Let's do it all on the level here. All right. So plus 180, Iwan Kutalaba is the underdog. Magomed Ankalaev is minus 220. He'll be in the red. Kutalaba's in the black. Got all of that out of the way. Here we go. I mean, you've got to deliver after that now. Kute Lava starts with a low kick. I mean, I don't care how composed you are. That has going to be a little nerve-wracking. I mean, you've got to fight anyway, but when the guy is like that, so intense, running across the octagon like that, the stakes are high in this one. Look at this! Oh, wow. A couple of kills! There he is again! And again! How is Kute Lava still on his feet? Wow! Three head kicks in a row! He's now on his feet! Wow. And he stops it, and Kute Lava disagrees! security in there for Kevin McDonald's safety. Well, it's face to face right now. Man. Kevin McDonald stopped it. Kute Lava was on his feet. Several head kicks connected. Some solid punches landed. Kute Lava was definitely wobbling. He was definitely looking like he was on the way out. But he was still there. He was still standing and still fighting. And also immediately protested. Immediately had his wits about him enough to know what happened and to know to disagree vehemently right away. I mean, let's take a look here. Comes in, gets caught with the two hooks, wait for the first head kick. I mean, he's wobbling. That one didn't quite connect. Throwing back that one to the body, and still he's hurt. Blocks that one. Came in with an overhand, didn't connect. He's wobbled here. He's wobbled, but he's still fighting. He's still in the fight. His body language doesn't look good, but nothing is connecting. He may have been roping open, he may have been trying to play a little possum. Who knows, that one connected, and the referee dives in. All right, let's take a look in real time. Well, here it is. Well, it stopped it right there. He yeah. yeah. swung wildly, but it was already called before that. Yeah, there's a potential there that he was just roping up and playing possum, trying to pull him into a false sense of security. I'm not trying to rain on his parade or piss on his bonfire, but the referee made a huge mistake. All right, so now the official result is in. And for that, let's find out what it is with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin McDonald has called the top of this contest at 38 seconds of round number one. Declaring the winner. By knockout, Magomed Akalaj.